Hello, it's Chris. I thought I'd come on and do a little quick tip. Working on a project at the moment, one of the bags that I'm making, and I'm at the stage of um, preparing one of the zippers. So I thought I'd share a couple of techniques that I use for installing zipper pulls. So if you do struggle with getting these little babies on, um, I'll share you a couple of my little tips that I thought you might like to try. The first one that I'll share is um, probably quite good for if you're new to in applying the zipper pulls to the tape. So I'll share that one first. Um, I'll just adjust the camera for you so that you've got a bit of a bird's eye view of what's happening here, what I'm doing, so you can see nice and clear. Okay, so. What we've got here is our cut end of our zipper tape. So we want to cut that nice and straight. And then once we've cut it, I always like to seal the ends with a lighter. <laughs> Check out this lighter I got myself. I had to have it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so to you can see here, zipper tape frays quite badly. So what I do is I get the lighter and just sort of start working it up close to the edge of the zipper tape, just so you'll see it starting to melt. So that'll help prevent any frayed edges as we're working with the zipper tape. Now, you can see here that the zipper tape is cut level. One of these teeth is sitting higher than the other. <laughs> one, one of these sits higher than the other. Okay, I don't know what that song is, but something has one of these things, something. Um, so in this case, it happens to be that the tooth on this side is sitting higher than this side. So I'm going to just pull that apart, taking note of which side's higher, pull it apart. That's my higher side. This was one tooth lower. I'm actually going to remove two of the zipper teeth here so that this side will actually end up being three teeth shorter than the other side. See there, I've just removed two teeth. So two little teeth are gone. I'll just use my lighter again, just to seal this end of the tape so that it doesn't fray on me. I'm just um, holding the tape down low on that flame. So I've got that hot part and I'm just sort of working it so it's getting close to the heat. And that sealed that there. A little bit of fabric there, I'll just seal that as well. You don't want to melt the zipper teeth because that can cause problems for you as well where you're trying to put on your zipper pull. So grab your zipper pull and that's the front of the zipper pull. So, you know, you'd be sliding it backwards and forwards like that. So that's the opening. On that longer side, which was on this side here, going to slide our zipper pull on and we're just going to line it up with the very tip here of the pull. So with that lined up right at the tip there, I just position my finger over it so that it holds it there in place. So just hold it there so that it doesn't slide up any higher on you. With the shorter side, now I will feed those little teeth through until they sort of like don't want to go any higher. Now I can grab the zipper tape, grab my zipper pull, and pull it down. And this should be sitting nice and straight. How we can tell, even without even worrying about looking here, how we can tell if we've got it on straight, we should still have three teeth higher on this side. If when you look at this side, if it's four teeth higher or only two teeth higher, just slide that zipper pull back off and put it back on again. Now we can pull that down and we can see that we've got that zipper head on nice and straight because our zipper tape is sitting nice and straight. If we had got it out of alignment and we had say four teeth or five teeth higher on this side than the other, the tape would actually sit bent like that. So I'll show you what happens if we put it on crooked. Um, so I'll just take that back off. So I'll put the zipper head back on again and I'll have it so that it's sitting out with a couple of teeth higher. 
couple of teeth sticking out. I'll do like, like that there. There's just probably one or two there. Then put that tape in. See, I'm not stopping that from moving up. When I'm pushing this in, I can see it's actually moving this tape a little bit as well. Pull that. Pull it down. If you find that your um, zipper tape doesn't want to come down, even though this is off centre, what you can do is just position, put it on the table, position your fingers on either side and grab that pull and pull it down. So we can see now that we've got that is crooked. So even if I just lay this on the table, it's not straight. Hopefully I'll get a good angle. I'll pull this down, it'll be even more obvious. The tape's got a really obvious angle that it's not on there straight. So if that ever happens, just take your zipper pull back off again and we'll put it back on again. Again there, lining up the zipper head with the tip of that zipper tape. Put your finger on the top so it can't go up any higher. Get your shorter side, put it through, hold it, and pull that zipper tape down. Actually, I'll do that method there where you can um, put it down on the table. Just get that level again there. Put that in. Holding that nice and secure. Hopefully it won't slide out. Hold it up and pull it down. And check here. So this is the first thing I always check is so checking up this end here. How many teeth have I got? I've got three teeth, so I know I'm on straight. So they're on nice and straight there. Now, another tip that I'll share is we'll do this zipper tape so that it's actually straight. So I'm just going to cut off those three teeth while the zipper pull's still on. So one, two, three. I could have cut it right across, but I might as well just cut those three teeth off. And I'll just seal the end there again. So this is another technique you can do. So leave our zipper tape straight. Take note of which zipper, zip tooth, is the highest one. And in this case, it's on this side. Take that pull off. I'm going to put my zipper pull on. And I'm only going to feed it about halfway through that zipper head. Bring that back to about there, about halfway. You can probably see there, I'm about halfway on that head. Put the other side in. And when we get the other side in, what we're going to be doing is looking from the top to see that they look pretty level and even. We want to have, so this side should be that higher side. Hold that and pull that tape down. And then check, before we even worry about checking down here, check up the top there. Is this one tooth higher than the other side? And yes, it is, so it should be nice and straight. And there we go, we've got two zipper pulls on nice and straight. So, and then if you don't get it on there straight, just take your zipper pull back off and have another go. So if you found one of these tips handy or you liked both of them, just let me know, leave a comment below. Click on that little like button too and share the video if you think other people, that you know, there might be someone else that finds this video helpful. And yeah, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've got lots of little tips that I'll be sharing with you. Okay then, see ya. Bye.